Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be telling you things that have happened in February. February was an amazing month like January, we made more memories and I cannot wait to see what March has in store for us. I'm just going to let you know before we start this video that there is going to be some random stuff in here that you're literally not even going to care about. But I wrote them down because the little things matter the most so let's just appreciate that I wrote them down so I'm going to remember them. I started off February by going to my friend's house. She lives down the road. If she's watching this, she'll know who she is. I don't really get out to friends very often because they're either busy and or I'm either busy. I have a lot of plans and I tend to be out a lot of the time or I'm always doing something. But honestly, it is nice to spend time with friends because I don't really get to a lot of the time. So when I do, I really, really appreciate it and enjoy the moment especially if your friends have got kids as well it just makes it so much easier because they kind of understand you a lot more than your friends would who don't have children because you're going through the same stuff you're doing the same things same day i also went for a very very important doctor's appointment and i got booked for a blood test EG because i was having problems with my heart i still don't think it's right but I'm just not going to go into that right now. The first weekend of February, Cole went to his first birthday party and I am beyond happy about that because I'm not going to lie, Cole hardly ever gets invited to parties. I don't get invited to them, nor does Cole. And I just feel so bad on him because, you know, he's a kid. Like, yeah, he's nine months old, but he can still go to a play area party. He can still come to, like, a barbecue that you're having. Like a lot of the stuff that people do that but just don't invite him, it kind of does upset me. I don't know if any other mums go through this, but do you ever feel like your kids are like just being like thrown to the side? Like I always make sure I include all the kids that I know as much as I can. And for Cole's birthday party, I've invited people that I probably didn't even need to invite, but I did anyway because I'm a nice person and I don't like to leave anybody out. But when I feel like people are pushing my kids out as well, that makes me kind of sad because even though he's young and he's not going to understand it, I understand it. And even though they probably don't realise they're doing it, it's, it's just not nice. At the party, he tried some birthday cake and he had some ice cream because he's teething. So cold things like ice cream and things like that are brilliant for him. Again, like I mentioned in my What Cole Eats in a Day, he does not eat the healthiest. What kid does? If you do, great. If you don't, great it doesn't really matter as long as your kids are having a balanced diet cake now and then isn't gonna hurt cole started off the month by learning to say bye and giving me a kiss and honestly it melted my heart into a thousand pieces it was the cutest thing in the world for my blood test i had to go to a hospital because if i wanted it through the doctors i would have been waiting quite a while and i needed this blood test it was very very important because obviously i haven't had my le i haven't had my iron levels checked since since i gave birth so that was eight months ago at the time so it's a very very long time ago so i didn't know how low i was and turns out i was low so i did need some iron tablets luckily i wasn't too low and didn't need a blood transfusion the same days had my blood test i also went for an ecg which came back clear had an ecg before that came back clear that was when i was in hospital and i and my heart rate was going really fast, but that came back clear. That just came back that it was going fast. This time, everything was normal. So I left a parcel at my neighbour's house because I was out. So she collected it for me. And when I went to collect it, I ended up talking for probably about two hours about anything and everything. And it was just so lovely to be able to just talk about everything and get to know each other. Last month, we did something I thought I would never, ever do. And that is go to a play group. The reason I don't want to, well, well, the reason I didn't want to go to a play group, and I'm going to put it bluntly and I'm going to say exactly how I think I should say it, is because people are judgmental and people look down on you and they don't even know you. And I'm not about that. I do not like that kind of stuff. If you've got time for that in your life and that's what you do, then I don't want to be associated around that, pe that, that kind of people. 
it's just not who I am. He's not who I'm ever going to be. I haven't got time for it. I'm concentrating on me and my family and my son. I do not have time for people being bitchy and judgmental because half of the time they're just opinions that don't even matter and opinions that they've just assumed before actually getting to know somebody and that's what really really annoys me what i have found out since going to playgroup is the fact that people are very judgmental there's a lot of clicks when it comes to playgroups this might be different for the one you attend but for me everybody seems to talk to each other apart from talk to me i do get the few odd people be nice and speak to me but apart from that nobody speaks to me and I just think it's quite rude actually because like every time I'm sitting somewhere with my son like everyone will be talking around me but nobody will be talking to me like fair enough if you don't want to talk to me don't talk to me I'm there for my child I'm not there to interact with other mums but it would just be nice for somebody to like go oh hi how are you you know etc but I'm not going to force it it clearly isn't meant to be but you know it does annoy me a little bit I'm not going to lie the first week I went, a woman did speak to me, but I think that was due to her uh, her daughter and my son interacting. Then the next week I noticed that I recognised somebody that went there. And then last week, somebody actually really kindly let me come and sit with them because they knew I was alone and they knew that we had nowhere to sit and there was a spare seat next to them. She even asked me if she wanted to get me a drink and all sorts of stuff like that, which was so lovely. But I've never had that from being there at all so it's really really nice that somebody actually did that because it made me feel so much better and so much more comfortable she didn't even have to say that she could have just left me but she didn't nobody else would have said anything to me if she didn't and i'm just so grateful to her for doing that because that genuinely did make my day and there's little things like that and that really do put a smile to my face and make me want to keep going and want to keep going to play groups and things like that if you have been watching me for a while you will know that in january cole caught his first two teeth now this month he caught his third tooth currently cutting his fourth as we speak and he's getting a fifth one as well which i will speak about in march's memories one of my favorite things to do with my family is go for meals or whether that's to places we've been before or places that we've never been to we went to frankie's and benny's because it was just across the road from smith's and i thought you know what let's go and have some lunch it was dinner time anyway so i had a barbecue cheese chicken wrap and it was so delicious i am quite fussy when it comes to going for meals because specific things i don't like to get like burgers the very it'll, it'll be very unlikely for me to get a burger somewhere because i always find that no matter where i go there's always hard bits in the burger somewhere and with wraps i always find that there's just some disgusting sauce in it that i have no idea what it is but frank and Menace did not do this in this wrap and it was absolutely delicious it was so nice i always like to get different things every time i go for meals because it's just a new experience and it's just something new to try. If you watched my February haul, I went to Smith's Toys and it was so much fun. I love going to toy stores because obviously now my mum is a big part of my life now and honestly, it's probably one of my favourite things. I absolutely love it, don't we? We got you lots of presents for your birthday, didn't we? And we also got a few presents for some other kids as well. And we got a board game, which I absolutely love. I'm obsessed with board games. We're hoping to get a few more, aren't we? Hoping to get a few more. A lot of the time, me and Cole go shopping by ourselves. And when we went shopping, I think it was the middle of no, the middle of February, we went to Primark and got ourselves some pyjamas because I absolutely swear by Primark pyjamas. They're absolutely probably one of my favourite places to get pyjamas from. They have such a huge range and I don't think I've got that many pyjamas that are from Primark. I have had other pyjamas but I do tend to get most of them from Primark. If I need some new pyjamas, I'm going to Primark. If somebody says to me, do you want some new pyjamas? I'm like, yeah, go to Primark. Because honestly, they do such a good range, especially their Disney range. We actually put a picture on Instagram of us wearing our new pyjamas from Primark. So if you want to see that, my social media will be in the description. So you can go check that out if you're interested. I can get really really anxious i suffer with anxiety it isn't that bad now but it used to be horrendous 
and when we go out together just me and Cole I don't tend to really go and sit in restaurants and have a meal or anything because it puts me on edge so so much and I just don't like it I do try to go to places and sit down and things like that to make me feel more comfortable so I can get used to it but we don't very often but that specific time I thought to myself you know what let's go let's meet in a restaurant we only went to mcdonald's nowhere big but mcdonald's is a little bit of you know low-key kind of place but it was packed there were so many people in there there was nowhere to sit somebody had to help me find a seat and i just it was a lot better than i thought but i was really anxious but i think once i do something i feel better about it if you got what i mean and I also took Cole into the play area at the shopping centre as well because we had to wait nearly an hour for our bus. So I thought, you know what, let's just go and play in the play area. A lot of people were looking at me as if to say, oh my goodness, she's like 10. Believe it or not, guys, I'm 18. I am not 10 or 13 or whatever age you think I am. Definitely don't judge a book by its cover. I do look young, but I am not as young as you might think I am. One of the things that really got under my skin this month was a woman shouting in the street saying kids having kids and that saying bothers me so much. I'm not a kid, I'm a young adult, I'm, no, I'm in no means a child anymore, I do not appreciate people saying stuff like that. Even if I was a kid, why would it matter? Like I don't understand why other people have to interfere, like yeah I'm a young mum and what it doesn't matter yeah i'm a young mum but that means i'm that does not mean that i am any less of a good mum than someone who is the age of 30. it doesn't matter how old you have your kids as long as you're mature enough to step up to the responsibility because it isn't easy having a child but it's honestly the best thing in the world so feel free if you want to judge me but you no means have any right to judge anybody especially if you don't know them and the worst part is she wasn't low-key about it like she didn't just say to her friend, oh kids having kids. She was on her own and literally shouted it but as she was walking past me and that's what made it worse. Something that I want to do this year is buy some other kids some Christmas presents because I just think it's just a nice thing to do and I don't usually buy other children's stuff but these kids are very special to me so I really, really do want to buy them things for Christmas. So I got their mum to make them all right Christmas lists and I will be buying them things for Christmas and I already have got them a few bits but I just think it's nice to buy the kids stuff as well as obviously buying my little one things and like to make other people happy. People are going to think this is no biggie but to me all the little milestones that Cole makes is a biggie. He learned to turn pages on a book which I thought was so so special and it literally made my heart melt into a thousand pieces. If you watch my video from February, we actually did a bake with me and we made Rice Krispie Cakes and honestly, they tasted good. But just be prepared if it's just you and a baby, do not over make them because I made so many. I literally could have just put melted one bar of chocolate, put a few Rice Krispies in and that would have been amazing. But no, I melted two and a half bars of chocolate nearly put the whole pack of rice crispers in and it just wasn't great i definitely wouldn't recommend in any any way especially if you don't have that many people to make them for definitely make yourself things and bake but don't over bake because you will you don't realize how much you're going to be wasting and take it from somebody that has wasted so much food when they thought they was going to eat it all as a mom one of the things that i want to start doing more of is cooking from scratch and this month well last month i tend to do most of my shopping in Iceland but sometimes I do go to other shops so I went to Tesco and I got some Chinese chicken curry which was amazing I made it from scratch I got the chicken got the mushrooms got the peas got the sauce everything and made it from scratch and it was so delicious I can't even tell you how delicious it was it was really really nice definitely will make it again if I can but I absolutely love bacon especially from scratch it makes me feel a lot better and to be honest it tastes a lot better. We've just had cottage pie for tea and I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't even taste anything and I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but I literally couldn't taste anything. The meat was okay, but the mash, I couldn't really taste anything. And that was part of the expensive range in Iceland and I didn't actually think that much to it. So 
Definitely encourages me to want to cook from scratch a lot more often. I've mentioned previously that I do like to go out for meals with my family. It's very important to me to spend as, lot and as much time with them as I possibly can. And me and Cole went for a meal with my mum to a local pub and it was so, so delicious. It was really, really nice. I had... What did I have? That's a good question. I think I had gammon egg and chips and Cole had spaghetti bolognese and then we had a sherry fondue for dessert and it, the sherry fondue is definitely the highlight of the meal, it was so delicious. We also seen somebody that we know there and I actually really really like them, they're an old couple and they always go into the place where my mum works for a meal and they're just so lovely and I love speaking to them because I'm all about good people and they are really really good people and they're so lovely. Another thing that I did last month, which to be honest, I do a lot, is turn up to the doctors for an appointment that isn't actually on that day. Can anybody say that they do this as well? Because I'm not even going to lie, I do this all the time. I am not even going to deny it, I do it all the time. I do it quite frequently, so yeah, anyone else? Another thing that happened this month was I actually thought somebody took money took money from my bank account because there was £25 that had gone and I thought I've not spent £25 anywhere and then it said someone called Shaheem and I thought hmm somebody's obviously got my bank details from somewhere because I cannot remember spending £25 so I ran nationwide got my card stopped and everything like that until I realised that I had used this they was right to take the money out I ordered some Royal Door books, I ordered the collection for £25 and that was where the money came from but at the time I didn't know that so I got my card stopped and everything, it was a total nightmare, I couldn't have a card for quite a few days, I couldn't access any money without going to a bank and I don't live near a bank so luckily my mum could take me so I could get some money out so I could, you know, survive. <laughs> Because I pay everything through my card. I pay my bills through my card, even if I need gas and electric. I also pay that through my card as well. And it's really, really annoying because I was like, well, what about if my gas and electric goes? I don't have anything to top it up. So it was honestly a total nightmare. But thankfully, that won't happen again. But also another thing is, I know you're meant to get rid of your bank card. Um, I haven't yet and I keep using it for things because I just forget and I don't look at the numbers or anything so I keep using it and then it keeps saying the card isn't working and then I panic <laughs> Cool, stop and then I panic and I'm like oh my god my card's not working again but it's just me so definitely need to get rid of my card for sure and I'm sorry that the camera's moving Cole is deciding that he wants to pull it again I do apologize if the angle of the camera has changed Cole decided to hit himself in the head with the tripod and he sobbed so we're back hopefully we can finish the video fingers crossed because i've been filming this video for probably an hour and i still haven't finished i keep filming it hating it filming it again so hopefully this is the final product and this is what you're going to see because i don't think i can take much more of filming for an hour with interruptions completely all the time so fingers crossed we can get through this in February, Cole decided to get on all fours. I didn't think Cole was going to crawl and at the moment he still isn't but he is trying really, really hard to crawl. He has got on all fours once but he hasn't a lot. It's only been once. But I'm still super, super, super proud of him and honestly i got so tearful at that moment i thought oh my goodness same day we also donated to a food bank which is something that i've always wanted to do and then we're also doing again this week i think it's nice to help others when they're struggling because i'm gonna be honest especially when you're a mom it's really really hard i feel like the first like the thing that i buy the most is food all the time the majority of the time i'm buying food the odd time i'm buying other stuff majority it's food and it is hard especially when you've got kids it's hard it's really hard and especially if you can't afford that much it's nice to help somebody and know that you've kind of made a difference to their day you know what i mean 
At the end of February, me and my brother took Cole to Wheelgate, which honestly was the best moment of February in my eyes. I absolutely loved it. Cole loved it. We went on the carousel. We played in the play area. We fed some animals. It was so much fun and I would definitely go there again. It was honestly amazing and I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to see what memories we make in March. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I ended the last day of February by going to McDonald's with Minky and Cole. If you've seen on my Instagram, you know who Minky is. And I just found it so much fun. I absolutely loved taking them. And she really enjoyed it. Cole really enjoyed it. <laughs> nice for him to be around a lot of other kids. So I know this was very, very random, and I know there was a lot of things in this that you're probably not going to want to know and you're not going to care about, but I care about them. It's the little things that matter. It's the little things that matter, and that's what I really, really appreciate. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd be extremely grateful, and I'm going to head off because we have one upset little man. Say bye. Say bye.